Hello, my friends, and welcome to Kurt Berglund's Baseball World. It's time to continue the Replay Baseball Franchise All-Star Season, and I'm having a blast. This set of cards, this the whole sim is fantastic. If you haven't tried Replay, I'm putting the link to Replay Baseball in the description for this video. It's incredible. Um... I'm also putting the link to channel membership in the description for this video. With channel membership, you get access to members only videos, discounts in my secondary store, and a free gift for me every month. So that's a great deal. Treat yourself as we rapidly approach the holidays. Can you believe that? Uh, so today we are at Wrigley Field where the St. Louis Cardinals come a calling for the first of a three-game set between these two National League Central Division opponents. And it's an interesting one because through the first 12 games of the season, the St. Louis Cardinals are 11-1, and one, and they're at the top of the National League Central. They have been unbelievable, and they've got wonderful players that I haven't even used very much yet. So they could get better. Um... So, the Cardinals are on the road. They're pitching Adam Wainwright, the right-hander. The Cubs are off to a 5-7 and seven kind of meh start. Uh, they've got Rick Russell going on the mound, Big Daddy. And uh, so we got a battle of right-handers at Wrigley Field. I'm very excited to get this going. I want to see how this famous rivalry between these two teams shakes out, at least in the early going of the season. So with no further ado, let's get down to the field and check out the starting lineups and roll some replay baseball. The lineups for today's game go like this. Lou Brock leads off in left field. Red Shane Deans bats second at second base. Stan Musial bats third at first base. Rogers Hornsby drops down to the cleanup spot today. He's going to play third base. Johnny Mize bats fourth, he's the DH. Ted Simmons bats fifth, he's catching. Jim Edmonds bats seventh, he's in right. Kurt Flood gets his first start, he'll play center field and bat eighth. And Ozzie Smith bats ninth, he's the shortstop. On the mound, it's right-hander Adam Wainwright. On this card, he's 14-8 and eight with a 2.63 ERA. For the homestanding Cubs, Chris Bryant leads off in left field. Bill Buckner bats second at first base. Billy Williams bats third. He's the DH. Sammy Sosa bats fourth. He's in right. Ernie Banks bats fifth. He'll play short. Ron Santo bats sixth. He's playing third base. Hack Wilson bats seventh. He's in center. Gabby Hartnett bats eighth. He's catching. Ryan Sandberg bats ninth. He will play second base. On the mound, it's the big daddy, Rick Russell. Uh, on this card, 16 and 11 with a 289 ERA. And we are ready to go with Lou Brock stepping in against Russell. Oh, we didn't take a look at the ballpark. Got to do that. Wrigley Field. Famous, historic Wrigley Field. Going to be a little bit easier for right-handed batters to get one out of here. Uh, but a hitter's ballpark, of course, nonetheless. All right, here we go with Brock leading it off. And there's a base hit for Lou Brock. It goes to center field. That's collected by Hack Wilson. He gets it back in, and Brock is on first. Red Shane Deans comes to the plate. We'll see if Lou has designs on stealing. Russell the stretch and the delivery, and there goes Lou Brock. The throwdown from Gabby Hartnett is late. It's a stolen base for Lou. He's in scoring position with nobody out in the first. Red Shane Deanst still at bat. The delivery from Russell. This is a base hit to center field. Drops in front of Hack Wilson. Uh, Brock is going to be waved home. The throw is cut off. Shane Deanst holds on at first. It's 1-0 St. Louis. Just like that. And Stan Musial comes to the plate. The delivery by Russell is swung on by Musial, and that is hit to center. 
Can of corn for Hack Wilson. He's got it for round number one. Shane Deans retreats to first. And here's Rogers Hornsby. The delivery by Russell. Hornsby with a base hit. This goes to left field. Let's see. He's going to try. He might try for two. He is coming. The throw from Bryant is going to be late. And Hornsby in with a two base hit. Stopping at third is Shane Deanst. Cardinals with a chance for a big lead in the first inning, and here comes the cat, Johnny Mize. Infield is in at the corners for Chicago. The stretch, the delivery to Mize, is hit to center. This will drive Hack Wilson back a few steps, but he's got room. He makes the catch. Coming home on the sacrifice fly is Shane Deanst. It's 2-0 Cardinals as... Hornsby holds on at second base. Here's Ted Simmons. The stretch, the delivery to Simba. Is swung on. It's hit in the air to left. This is going to drive Bryant back. But he's on the track and makes the catch for out number three. So in the first, the Cardinals get two runs on three hits. They leave one. We go to the bottom of the first. It's the Cardinals two and the Cubs nothing. Adam Wainwright will face Bryant Buckner and Williams in the first. The windup and the delivery by Waino is a ground ball hit to short. This is Ozzie Smith. And Ozzie, did he boot it? Yes, he, yes, he did. It's an E6 that puts Bryant on at first base. Bill Buckner comes to the plate. The stretch by Wainwright and the delivery to Billy Buck. Buckner swings, it's hit to right. Over by the foul line is Jim Edmonds. He's got it for out number one. Bryant holds on at first. Here's Billy Williams. The delivery by Wainwright and Williams drills this one into center field, into the gap. This will roll to the wall. Are they going to wave Bryant home? Kurt Flood running it down. They may wave Bryant home. Let's see what they do. And they hold him up. Second and third for the Cubs with one out. Here's Sammy Sosa. Cub fans on their feet wanting Sammy to go deep. Wainwright the stretch. The infield is back. The delivery. It is hit to Hornsby at third. He gloves it. And fires to first baseman Sam Musial for the putout. Bryant scores from third. Williams advances to third. It's 2-1 Cardinals. Ernie Banks comes up. Two outs. Williams at third. The stretch by Wainwright and the delivery to Mr. Cub. And this will be a dribbler back to Wainwright. He gloves it, fires to Musial, and the Cubs are gone in the first. But they pick up an unearned run. On one hit, they leave one. We go to the second. It's St. Louis 2 and Chicago 1. In the St. Louis second, it's Edmonds, Flood, and Ozzy coming up 7 8 9 against Russell. The delivery. And Edmonds takes ball four, leadoff man aboard for St. Louis. Kurt Flood comes to the plate. Ozzy on deck. Russell is stretched. The delivery. Swung on by Flood, and that is hit toward first. That's Bill Buckner. He knocks it down, but can't make a play. Everybody's safe. Two on with two outs. With no outs, sorry. Two on with no outs. Here's Ozzy. Brock on deck. The stretch, the delivery to Ozzy Smith is a ground ball hit to third. That is Santo. He's going to go to Sandberg for one. 
And the relay to Buckner is late. Ozzy beats the rap at first. Flood retired 5-4. Advancing to third is Edmonds. Cardinals at the corners now with one out and Brock at the plate. Cubs going to move the infield in at the corners. And they're halfway up the middle. Brock at the plate. He's one for one. Russell the stretch, the delivery. Swung on by Brock. And this is hit on a line to right. Uh, Sammy Sosa makes the catch. Let's see if Edmonds is going to try and tag. Uh, well, let's see. He might. Nope, he holds up. He holds at third. Two outs now. Here's Red Shane Deanst. Red started the scoring with an RBI single in the first. The stretch by Russell. The delivery to the Cardinals' second baseman is, well, we got to do an action chart check. Let's see. That runner on third might be thinking about coming home, Jimmy Edmonds. And we have a potential pickoff at first. And it's an error. Russell throws it away. That's going to be an E1. Scoring is Edmonds. It's 3-1 St. Louis. Going to second is Ozzie. Shane Dean still at the plate. The stretch. The delivery. That is swung on by Shane Dean's hit to center. Hack Wilson pounds the glove and makes the catch for out number three. Some shaky defense by the Cubs in the second inning. Leads to another Cardinal run. On one hit, they leave one. We go to the bottom of two. It's St. Louis three in Chicago one. Santo, Wilson, and Hardnett coming up against Wainwright. The windup in the delivery by Wainwright is swung on by Santo and hit to short. Ozzy charges, throws on the run to Musial, and there's one down. Hack Wilson steps up. Wainwright deals. Swung on by Hack and hit to left and deep. Back goes Brock. Warning track. Wall and it's gone. Hack Wilson just lost a hanging curve for Adam Wainwright. It's 3-2 Cardinals. Here's Hartnett. Wainwright kicks and deals. Gabby Hartnett. Swings and hits a comebacker to Wainwright. He throws to Musial. There's two down, and Hartnett's going to miss some time. He's coming up gimpy, but he's going to stay in the game for now. All right, Ryan, Sand Ryan Sandberg with two outs. Wainwright deals. Bryant would be next. Swung on by Sandberg, it's hit to third. Hornsby gloves it to his left and fires to Musial for out number three. Well, it's a Wrigley Field game. We've played two innings, and it's St. Louis three and Chicago two. Musial, Hornsby, and Mize coming up in the St. Louis third inning. Russell kicks and deals. Stan Musial drills this one. It's trouble. Down into the right field corner. Sammy Sosa's got to go get it. Stan around first, cruises into second with a leadoff double, and the Cardinal onslaught continues. Here's Hornsby. He doubled himself in the first. The stretch by Russell and the pitch to Rogers is swung on. It's hit to center on a line. Hack Wilson on the run. Makes the catch for out number one. Holding it second is, Horn is uh, Musial. Now it's Johnny Mize. Simmons on deck. Russell the stretch, the delivery. Swung on by Mize. It's hit to first. Buckner's got it. He'll flip to Russell covering to retire Mize, but Musial advances to third on the ground out. That'll bring up Simmons with two outs and a man 90 feet away for St. Louis. Russell the windup and the delivery to Simba. This is ripped by Simmons. 
And it's going to be a base hit to center. Drops in front of Hack Wilson. Musial scores easily. It's 4-2 St. Louis. Simmons holds on at first. Here's Jim Edmonds. The stretch by Russell. The pitch to Edmonds, who walked and scored just last inning. And hey, struck him out. Rick Russell rings him up with a Rick Russell sinker. And that will retire the Cardinals in the third, but they get another run. On a couple of base hits, we go to the bottom of three. It's the Cardinals four and the Cubs two. Top of the order coming for the Cubs, Bryant, Buckner, and Williams. The wind up in the delivery by Wainwright to Chris Bryant is going to be swung on by Bryant and hit on a line to right. Edmonds coming on. He's got it for out number one. Bill Buckner is 0 for 1, and he's up there now. Billy Williams on deck, the pitch. Buckner swings. He hits it to third. That's Hornsby to his left. One more time. Fires to Musial for out number two. Billy Williams is 1 for 1, and he's up there now. The wind-up and the delivery by Wainwright. Williams pops it up. This wouldn't be a home run in a phone booth. Red Shane Deinst in short right field, calls for it and takes it. Four out, number three. We go to the fourth and your score, St. Louis four and Chicago two. Flood, Ozzy, and Brock coming up in the Cardinal fourth. Russell kicks and deals. Kurt Flood uh, hits a shot off Santos' glove at third. He's going to reach on an infield hit. That will force an action chart check here as Ozzy strolls to the plate. And let's see what happens here. This is going to be blocked in the plate in the dirt by Gabby Hartnett. Flood has to hold. Here's Ozzy. The stretch, the delivery to Ozzy Smith. And Ozzy hits a little short fly ball to center. Coming in quickly is Hack Wilson. He's got it for out number one. Flood retreats to first, and here's Lou Brock. Brock is one for two. Russell the stretch, the pitch to him. Uh, Brock hits one on a line to center. Hack Wilson getting his road work, and he makes the catch for out number two. Flood again retreats to first, and here's Red Shane Dean at 1-4-2 in the day. Russell the stretch, the delivery to Red. And we're going to have more action on the base pass. The Cardinals put all kinds of base running pressure on. Um... And it's going to be... No block. Okay. The next delivery now to Shane Deanst is going to be a base hit to center field. Stopping at second will be Flood. Wilson gets the ball in in good shape. There's two on with two outs for Musio. Stirring in the Cub bullpen. But nobody is throwing yet. Russell the stretch, the pitch to stand the man. This is ball four. The bases are loaded. And Rogers Hornsby comes to the plate, and that is going to get action going in the Cub bullpen. And... Hippo Vaughn starts to throw. All right, he's a left-hander. The pitch now, Russell facing Hornsby with Flood at third, Shane Inns at second, Musil at first. The stretch, the delivery by Rick Russell. And Hornsby with a base hit to center field. That will score Flood.
They are waving Shane Dean Siebel score. And on the throw home, Heck Wilson airmails a throw home. And that's going to allow Musial to go to third and Hornsby to go to second. It's a two-run single for Hornsby. And it is now 6-2 to two, St. Louis in the fourth inning. Johnny Mize coming to the plate. The stretch by Russell, the pitch to Mize. Line drive, base hit to right, drops in front of Sosa. Musial scores. Hornsby scores. 8-2 Cardinals. And here comes the Cubs manager, Joe Madden. He's going to make a change. Well, Russell, I don't know. He couldn't get the pitches where he wanted them, and uh, he fought the battle, but he, he couldn't get it done today. Three and two-thirds innings, he allowed four, six, eight, ten base hits. He walked two. They both scored. He struck out one. He allowed eight runs. They're all uh, They're all earned. He can lose this game. He can't win it. Hippo Vaughn is on for some long relief. On this card, 24 and 14 with a 269 ERA. Back from the dead ball days. Ted Simmons comes to the plate with Mize at first and two outs. The stretch and the delivery to Simba. And we're going to have another action chart check. And it's a wild pitch past Hartnett. Advancing to second is Mize. Simmons still at the plate. Vaughn the stretch, the delivery. And we're going to have another action chart check. And this will be... A pickoff. Hippo Vaughn picks Mize off second, and that will retire the side. But in the fourth, uh, the Cardinals get four runs on four hits. They don't leave anybody. We go to the bottom of the fourth. It's St. Louis 8 and Chicago 2. But as we know, things can change quickly in Wrigley Field. Sosa, Banks, and Santo coming up in the bottom of the fourth for Chicago. Wayno deals to Sammy, and Sosa swings. He hits it to left. It's high, it's deep, but it's going to stay in the park. Brock makes the catch on the track for out number one. Ernie Banks comes to the plate. Wainwright deals to Mr. Cub, and that is a ground ball hit to third. Hornsby by the third base bag, gloves it, and fires Across the diamond to Musial for out number two. Ron Santo 0 for 1 is up there now. Wainwright deals to Santo and I struck him out on a bender. First strikeout for Wainwright. That'll close out the Cub fourth in 1-2-3 fashion. We go to the fifth at St. Louis 8 and Chicago 2. Ed Simmons was at bat when Johnny Mize got picked off to end the top of the fourth. So, he'll lead off the fifth. It'll be Simmons, Edmonds, and Flood coming up uh, in the fifth. Hippo Vaughn winds and deals. Simmons swings. This is a ground ball to Santo at third. He fires to Bill Buckner for out number one. Jimmy Edmonds comes to the plate. He's 0 for 1. Vaughn kicks and deals. Edmonds draws a walk. A one-out base runner for the Cardinals brings up Kurt Flood. Flood is two for two. I have had all kinds of problems getting Flood into the lineup, so he's in there today. Vaughn deals to Kurt Flood. And it's popped up. Drifting into foul territory is Ron Santo. He takes it for out number two. Ozzie steps to the plate with Edmonds still at first. Vaughn, the stretch and the delivery. And Ozzy rips this one. It's a base hit to uh, left field. 
Advancing to third will be Edmonds. There's Cardinals at the corners with two outs now for Brock. Vaughn the stretch. Lefty-lefty matchup. Brock's one for three in the delivery. And there's a base hit for Lou Brock. Goes up the middle. Edmonds scores. Going to third is Ozzie Smith. It's 9-2 Cardinals. Three or two consecutive two-out hits produce a run. And here's Red Shane Deans. Musial would be next. Vaughn the stretch, the delivery to Red. He swings and hits it to left. By the foul line is Chris Bryant. He takes it for out number three. Cardinals add a run in the fifth on a couple of ace hits. We go to the bottom of fifth. We're halfway home, and your score is St. Louis 9 and Chicago 2. Hack Wilson, Gabby Hardnett, Ryan Sandberg in the bottom of the fifth. Wainwright deals. Hack Wilson hits it to left. Brock back a couple of steps, but he's got room and makes the catch for out number one. Gabby Hartnett up there now. He's 0 for 1. The pitch from Wainwright. Swung on by Gabby and hit to left. One more chance for Brock. He's got it for out number 2. And Ryan Sandberg comes to the plate. He's 0 for 1. Wainwright deals to him. Sandberg swings and he hits it to first. Bustio gloves it and takes it to the bag. Unassisted for out number 3. Wainwright has now retired 11 in a row. We go to the 6th at St. Louis 9 and Chicago 2. All right, Musial at the plate, and we're getting a new Cubs pitcher. It's going to be Charlie Root. Uh, Vaughn is done after an inning and a third. Two hits, one run, one walk. Root takes over Charlie uh, on this card, 16 and 13 with a 3.20 ERA. He was a right-hander. He'll face Musial, Hornsby, and Mize in the Cardinal six. The wind and the delivery, and it's a pop-up uh, towards second base. Ryan Sandberg in short right field takes it for out number one. Rogers Hornsby is two for three, and he's up there now. The wind up in the delivery by Root. Base hit for Hornsby, his third of the day in four trips in six innings. Here's Johnny Mize with three ribbies. Double played up for the Cardinal for the Cub infield. The stretch, the delivery, and Mize. Rips this one. It's going to rattle around in that right field corner. Sammy's got to go get it. Hornsby around second, going to third. He'll stop there. Mize into second with a one-out double. Cubs going to play the corners in. Simmons at the plate. The stretch by Root, the delivery to Simba. It's a ground ball to short. This is... Ernie Banks, and Banks, his only play is going to be to first base. Hornsby scores from third. Mize advances to third. It's 10-2 to two Cardinals, and Edmonds comes to the plate. Root, the stretch, the delivery. And Edmonds... Draws a walk. Going to do an action chart check here. Flood at the plate. Cardinals at the corners. They have scored in every inning. And it's blocked by Hartnett. So no pass ball. Here comes the pitch to Flood. And Kurt hits this one on the ground to Banks. He's going to go the short way to Sandberg to retire St. Louis, and that'll end the sixth. But in the sixth, the Cardinals add another run. Looks like a picket fence up there. Uh, they had a run on two hits, and they leave two. We go to the bottom of the sixth. It's uh, St. Louis 10 and the Cubs 2. 
Wainwright, meanwhile, is throwing a gem. Uh, Bryant, Buckner, and Williams, the top of the order, coming for Chicago in the sixth. The pitch to Chris Bryant is swung on and hit deep. To center, back goes flood, warning track, wall, and it's gone. Chris Bryant loses one for Wainwright and breaks his string of 11 in a row. 10-3 Cardinals now, and here's Buckner. The delivery by Wainwright. Buckner strikes out. Doesn't happen often, but Wainwright got him. Second strikeout for Adam on the day. Billy Williams comes to the plate at one for two. Wainwright kicks and deals. And Billy Williams rips a base hit to left field. It drops in front of Brock, another Cub base runner. And here's Sammy Sosa. Wainwright the stretch, the pitch to Sammy. And hey, struck him out. Number three, Sammy was trying to hit one to Milwaukee, but not that time. Here's Banks. Wainwright the stretch, the pitch to Ernie. And that is uh, taken for ball four. Two on with two outs for the Cubs. Here's Santo. Wainwright, the stretch, the pitch to Ronnie. Base hit up the middle for Santo. Uh, Billy Williams is going to score. Banks is going to go to third as Flood's throw comes into second base. And it's 10-4, to four, St. Louis. The Cubbies are coming. Tra-la-la-la. Here is Hack Wilson, one for two. Wainwright, the stretch, the delivery. Hack Wilson, line drive, caught by a leaping red Shane Deans to close out the sixth. But the Cubs pick up a couple of runs. On three hits, they leave two. We go to the seventh, and your score, St. Louis 10 and Chicago 4. Charlie Root's going to try and go another inning. He will face Ozzie Smith, Lou Brock, and Red Shane Deans. The wind-up and the delivery. Ozzie swings. He hits it to Sandberg at second. Rhino to his left. Gloves it and throws to Buckner for out number one. Lou Brock is two for four. He's up there now. The delivery by Root. And there's a base hit for Brock. His third of the game. One on with one out for St. Louis. Shane Deans the batter. Double play depth for the Cub infield. Root the stretch. The delivery. Is swung on by Shane Deans. It's hit to right. Sammy pounds the glove and makes the catch for out number two. As Brock retreats to first, here's Stan the man. Root the stretch, the delivery to Musio. And it's popped up. In fair territory, Ron Santo there and makes the catch for out number three. Time to stretch him out in Chicago with no sign of Harry Carey. We go to the bottom of the seventh with your score, St. Louis 10 and Chicago 4. Be Hartnett, Sandberg and Bryant in the Cubs seventh. Wainwright going to try and get another inning out of him. Hartnett goes and swings and grounds it to Shane Deans at second. Red charges, flips to Musial, and there's one down in the Cubs seventh. Here's Sandberg. Wainwright deals to him. Ground ball to Shane Deans. He flips to Musial. Two away. Rinse and repeat. Chris Bryant homered last time up. He's one for three. Buckner would be next. The wind and the delivery. And Bryant strikes out on a Wainwright upstairs fastball. That is strikeout number four for Wainwright. We go to the eighth and your score. St. Louis 10 and Chicago 4. We're going to get a new Cubs pitcher, and it's going to be Pete Alexander. Getting in a couple innings of work, maybe. Uh, Root goes two innings, allows one run on three hits, walked one, didn't strike anybody out. Alexander will face Hornsby, Mize, and Simmons in the Cardinal Eighth. The wind and the delivery by Alexander to Hornsby. 
This is going to be a little tap back to Pete Alexander. Alexander fields it, but throws late to Buckner. Hornsby safe on the infield hit. Hornsby with four hits and five trips. Here's Johnny Mize. Double play depth for the Cubs. The stretch by Alexander, the delivery to Mize. Is swung on, it's hit to right. Can of corn for Sosa. He's got it for out number one. Hornsby retreats to first. Now it's Simmons at one for four. Alexander the stretch. The delivery to Simba and another base hit. This goes to left field. Drops in front of Chris Bryant. Hornsby will stop at second. Two on with one out for St. Louis in the eighth. Simmons, or sorry, Edmonds comes to the plate. Alexander the stretch, the pitch to Jim Edmonds, who's walked three times. And I struck him out. Alexander got him with a bender, and now Flood will come to the plate. Kurt is two for four. Alexander the stretch and the delivery. Flood pops it up. Ernie Banks in short left field calls for it and takes it for out number three. That'll do it for St. Louis in the eighth. We go to the bottom of the eighth. It's the Cardinals 10 and the Cubs 4. We're going to get a new Cardinal third baseman, and that's going to be Ken Boyer. Taking over for Hornsby in the bottom of the eighth. Uh, in the early going, there's just been more bats than you can get in the lineup. For St. Louis, everybody's hot. It's just unbelievable. They're heading to their twelfth their twelfth victory in thirteen uh, games to start this season. Uh, we're going to get a new Cardinal pitcher uh, in the eighth. Adam Wainwright is done after seven complete innings of work, and. Uh, Adam Wainwright allowed five hits. Two of them were home runs. He walked one. He struck out four. He allowed four runs. Three were earned. Uh, he is definitely in line for the victory if the Cardinals can hold on here and uh, finish the deal. The new pitcher will be Max Lanier, a left-hander. Nah, we're not going to do Max Lanier. We're going to do Howie Paulette. Long-time National League pitcher, a left-hander, is going to take over for St. Louis here in the bottom of the eighth. He will face Buckner, Williams, and Sosa in the Cubs' eighth inning. Billy Buck is 0 for 3. Paulette, on this card, 21 starts, 8 relief appearances, 12 and 7 with a 2.66 ERA. He was on those great Cardinal teams of the 1940s. The wind and the delivery by Paulette and Bill Buckner. You can't keep him down. Base hit to left field. Brock gets it back in in good shape. Leadoff man aboard in the eighth for the Cubs. Now it's Williams. Paulette the stretch. Billy's got two hits. The pitch. Ground ball. That is hit to Shane Deans at second. Red gloves it. And he flips to Ozzie for one, and the relay to Musio is in time for a rally killing, soul crushing, four six three double play turned by the Cardinals, and that'll bring up Sammy with nobody on base. Paulette deals to Sosa, and I struck him out. Sammy uh, doesn't like anything with a wrinkle in it. And that will retire the side in the eighth. We go to the ninth. Cardinals 10, Cubs 4. See Brock and Shane Deans coming up for the Cardinals in the ninth. The windup, the delivery to Ozzie, and the base hit for the Wizard. That's his second hit. He's two for five. Brock comes to the plate, facing Pete Alexander in his second inning of work. The delivery. Brock swings, and this is trouble. It's going to be to center and deep, and it's going to one-hop the wall. Hack Wilson has to go retrieve it. Are they going to wave Ozzy around third? That's the question on America's mind. 
They are, and he will score. Uh, and... That means Ozzy scores all the way from first on a double by Brock. It's 11 to 4 Cardinals. My goodness. Shane Dean's up there now. He's 2 for 5. The stretch, the delivery. And Shane Dean's with a little looping fly ball to right. Coming in quickly is Sammy, and he's got it for out number one. Brock holds at second. Musial, the batter. The delivery by Alexander. Swung on by Stan. It's hit to left. This will drive Bryant back, but he's got room and puts it away for out number two. Holding at second is Brock. They don't want to rub anything in. Here's Boyer. More than they have. Mize on deck. He would be next. The pitch uh, is swung on by Boyer, and it's lined to left. Bryant coming on and makes the catch for out number three. Well, we go to the bottom of the ninth, and it's put up or shut up time for the Cubbies. Cardinals lead it 11 to 4. Paulette is out for his second inning of work. And it'll be Banks, Santo, and Wilson. Howie Paulette deals. And Ernie Banks with a liner off Paulette's glove. Nobody's going to throw him out. Banks safe on an infield single. Let's check the action chart. Paulette is okay. He is not hurt. Um, now Paulette tries to pick off Banks, and he throws wild. That's going to be an error as the throw gets past Musial, and Banks will advance to second. Santo at the play with a chance to drive in a run. Howie Paulette, the stretch, the delivery to Ronnie. Is going to be a bouncer to first, taken by Musial. He will take it to the bag unassisted for out number one. Advancing to third is Banks. Hack Wilson up there. Gabby Hartnett on deck. Paulette, the stretch. Ah, he's going to go from the windup. They did that back then. The windup and the delivery to Hack. Is swung on, it's hit to center. Yeah, driving Flood back a few steps. He'll make the catch, tagging at third and scoring his banks. It's 11 to 5, Cardinals. And Gabby Hartnett comes to the plate as the last chance saloon for the Cubs. Paulette winds and deals. Sandberg would be next. The delivery and a base hit for Gabby Hartnett. There's no quitting that guy. It goes to right field and drops in front of Jimmy Edmonds. A two-out base runner for the Cubs, and Sandberg comes up at 0 for 3. Chris Bryant would be next. Paulette the stretch. The delivery to Rhino. The last chance saloon. Swung on by Sandberg. This one is hit to left and deep and gone. A two-run bomb for Sandberg. Paulette hung a bender, and Sandberg just put it onto Waveland for him. It's 11-7. to seven. All of a sudden, Cardinals and the bullpen gets going for St. Louis. Yikes. Bruce Suter starts to throw in a hurry. Chris Bryant at the plate. Two outs. Last chance saloon. Buckner would be next. Paulette deals. Bryant swings. He hits it to first. Musial gloves it to his right. Feeds Paulette covering. And the Cardinals walk away. An 11-7 winner. In a slugfest at Wrigley. Let's give you the totals on this one. For the visiting Cardinals, 11 runs. Got to count up the hits. 4, 6, 8, 10, 12. 14, 16, 18, I think. And they committed one, two errors. The Cubs, seven runs, nine base hits, and they committed one, one error. The winning pitcher is Wainwright.
The loss goes to Russell. No save in the game. Uh, player of the game, I'm... Well, could be Wainwright. But I'm going to give it to Hornsby for a 4-for-5 four performance. Uh, with the victory, the Cardinals improved their American, uh, American National League Central Division leading record to 12-1. and one. The Cubs dropped to 5-8. and eight. It's the first of a three-gamer. Thank you for being with me. Lots more coming up on the channel with Replay Baseball Franchise All-Star Season. Uh, the link to Replay Baseball is in the description for this video, as is the link to channel membership. Check that out. But for now, your final from Wrigley Field in Chicago, the Cardinals 11, the Cubs 7. Have a great evening. So long, everybody.